Good morning, church. So for our readings, you know, for this morning, it reminded us and summarized our roles and responsibilities, you know, as people of God, as His children, and God being our God. How God's place and His throne is above us. You know, we see in our gospel how the people were wondering or confused if John the Baptist was perhaps the Christ or the Messiah. You know, John the Baptist was preaching the gospel, was saying words of, of hope to the people. And you know, John the Baptist had all the reason to tell the people that he was the Christ. You know, pwede na siya magkunwari and, you know, feel the moment na, okay, ako si Lord eh. Ako yung Kristo eh. Di ba? Iisip nyo, ako yun eh. Ako yun. You know? Di ba, most of the time or sometimes, gusto natin tayo yung bida ng saya minsan. Let's admit it, sometimes one way or another, we want to feel special. To please people around us. Di ba? Ilang likes na ba yung post ko sa Facebook or sa Instagram? Okay na ba yung suot ko? Maganda na ba ako tignan? Pogi na ba ako? Okay na ba yung lahat? Makikita na ba ng tao yung bago kong sapatos? Mapapansin na ba, mapapansin na ba nila ako? Or we ask, may makukuha ba ako dyan? Those questions. And at that time, John the Baptist can think he was special. If the people thought that he was the Christ, for sure, his feeling was good. Just yun eh. Diba? The chosen one. Tinitignan na nila ako eh. Pinupuri na nila ako, pinapansin na nila ako eh. But he, he can fully acknowledge the feeling, that good feeling, and fall into the temptation of pride and arrogance. But what did John the Baptist said? I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I is coming, whose sandal strap I'm not worthy to lose. When he was saying those words, we should understand, you know, he was doing the work. He was doing his ministry. John the Baptist knew his purpose. He knew his role. He knew his responsibility. And that is to minister the people, to serve the Messiah, to baptize the Messiah. Hindi niya na sinubukan gawin yung hindi niya dapat gawin. You know, we live in a world that is easy for us to hold on to our own positions, to our own identity, to protect it and keep it from ourselves. Akin lang to. Pinaghirapan ko to eh. Deserve ko to. You know, this is mine. My property. John the Baptist is the example on how we can glorify God. And our church mission vision statement is to know God, to know Christ, and make Him known. And that's our job. To make Christ alive in everyone through our lives. To evangelize, to encourage, and to equip so that when we go to church every Sunday, when we attend church, it's not because it's a requirement. It's not because our friends are here. It's not because gusto natin malaman yung latest news ng bawat isa. It's not because nakasanayan natin. But it's because of God. It's because we want to hear instructions from His Word. It's because we want to thank Him and worship Him from all the things that He has done to our lives. And commune with Him by His body and blood of Jesus Christ. So that when we go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit throughout the week, and our hope is that we're using that Holy Spirit, we are secured. We are filled with God's love. If problems come, you know, sige, may problema, kakayanin ko. Because I'm, I'm, my God is with me. Pag malungkot ako, babangon ako. Because the Lord God is with me. If I see problems around me, tutulungan kong ayusin yan. If I see someone crying, worrying, nalulungkot, I will give them hope. If I see someone nagkakasala, gumagawa ng mali, tutulungan kong baguhin at itama. That's our job. John the Baptist turned the eyes of the people to Jesus and not to himself. Hindi ho tayo ang bida. Si Kristo ang bida ng buhay natin. And it's easy to say na, yaman ko eh. Magaling ako eh. Talented ako eh. Talino ko eh. Ako to eh. Yes, good for you. But we should understand and realize that everything came from God. And we are just instruments of His goodness. 
Hence, we say, glory to God in the highest. So when we say those words, we should understand it's, the, it's for the glory of God always. Hindi lang yun na parang, okay, pag pinupuri ka, okay, to God be the glory, to God be the glory. But we should understand those words. It is really from God, not us. We are just instruments of His goodness. Ginagamit lang tayo ni Lord para mapakita sa mundo yung buhay niya. And I hope we continually manifest that to the people around us. And being an instrument of God, our focus should be on bringing people to Jesus Christ in our own simple way. In our second reading, 1 John, it says, Make sure no one deceives you. The one who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Maging mabuti po tayong tao sa paligid natin. Maging ehemplo ng tama, by, do, by an example, by doing good deeds. Matutong humindi sa mali. You know, the world will test us. Will, uh, you know, will test our beliefs, our values, our principles. But if we put God in us, in the center of everything we do, we put our eyes on Him, we are secured. You know, evil will be waiting for us to devour, but I know that God is with us. Na if we focus our eyes on Him, to trust and believe in Him, everything will fall into place. John the Baptist's purpose in this world was to exalt Christ, not himself. His ministry was completely focused to Jesus Christ. And our purpose in this world is to live this life of God and to be like Him. That is what our ministries should be focused on to. It's not about us. It's not about me. It's about Him. It's not about my glory or fame. It's about His glory in his name. You know, I love this quote, I must decrease, he must increase. I believe this is John the Baptist as well who said this. Because it is allowing Jesus Christ to be the Lord of our life. Allowing him to be greater. To exalt God and humble ourselves before him. So church today, let us be reminded and turn our eyes upon Jesus. You know, not on the problems or fears we face. Kasi in general, eh, problems are there. But if we put God always in the center of everything we do, family, school, work, friends, church, He will be there to control everything. And He will be, you know, everything will fall into place. Because if we put God outside of the circle, di ba, he, he will be having hard time to reach us and us. Diba? Mahirapan tayong edit si Lord kasi nilabas natin siya. But if we put God in the center of everything we do, parang electric pa na nasa gitna siya. Diba? He's our core. He's our foundation. Siya nagpapangikot ng buhay natin. Life will be smooth. Diba? Problems are there, yes. Fears are there, yes. But it will mold us. It will strengthen us to the victory that God has promised us. And His words will not fail us. His promises are true. Let's continually believe and trust God. And as John the Baptist said, one mightier than us, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, is coming. So be prepared, because He is there always with us.